So I wanted to pick up a conversation that we left off uh, last year, which is one of my, my strongest desire, also the most nagging part, is to be a parent. And I took your advice and I've been working with meditating and just allowing myself to relax about the topic a little bit, but I'm having a hard time with that. <laughs> um, and I think that I'm trying to figure out what it is that I'm doing that's standing in my way of getting clarity, because the more I do think about it and the more I respond to signs and signals of how to start this course, the more confused I s seem to be. Is your confusion about how to accomplish it or is your confusion about how much you really want it? Definitely about how to accomplish it. So what and why are clear to you? Yes, very much. If you don't mind, explain the why to us. The why is because I feel that I have so much love, focused um, attention to give. I think there's a, this beautiful relationship that will be a back and forth exchange. So I have a lot of love to give, yeah. and I want to give it to someone special. Yes. Even though there are billions of people on the planet that you can flow love to, yes. you're kind of hung up on this one that isn't here yet. Yes. <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> really weird. <laughs> so in your quest to bring this unknown stranger into your life so that you can flow love toward, you can't find anybody else to sort of stand in for a little while. There's actually because a lot that of that. Because that would solve the problem. Yeah. If you've got bottled up love to flow. In other words, you have a lack of consciousness going on here. It's like, I need something specific that I don't know how, where, when, and who. I think I know what and why, but I don't know how, when, where, and who. So because I've got this specifics that I haven't had an opportunity yet to allow the universe to yield it to me in a way that I'm absolutely certain, then I'm using this future experience that I want to call future as my reason to feel lack because that's what's going on you're feeling absence of something wanted you're just making it up you're making it up just like Esther was making up what if I can't go and there's a thousand people up there just wondering what to do next <laughs> well that's just an irresponsible and ridiculous thought and so is this one really do you believe that it will be? Yes. So you know it's going to be, so it's an impatience because it's taking too long? Is Think about that. Wait, don't go off on a tangent. Okay. That's a very important question. If you know it's going to be, and we take you at your vibrational word that you do, then what is the impatience about? It's about timing. But what is the impatience about? Aren't there so many things that are going to become that haven't become yet? What the impatience is about is a human trait that we're trying to get you to all get over. It's a human trait of needing the manifestation of my desire to have manifested so that I don't have to do any work of focusing. I can just lazily observe. But the thrill of creation is to hold a focus, to focus upon something that is a vibrational reality and enjoy its vibrationalnessnessnessnessness while it is in the state of becoming because do you know there is so much about this journey of becoming that you're going to enjoy every facet of that you are depriving yourself of by just wanting to have a thought and have it manifest thought manifest thought manifest you would think something as simple as booking a flight, getting to the airport and getting on an airplane would be a really simple, straightforward thing. But there's so much more juice to get from it if you will allow it. You see what we're getting at? So much more life to live about it. So what's the urgency all about? Why the impatience instead of the loving, joyful awareness of the way the universe works to deliver to you whatever you want? I think that it's because I do believe for sure that this will happen. It's not that I have to know it's happening now. It's more that I don't know where to focus. And I think that's where I'm frustrated is because if I 
relax and focus on other things well then that you bring... must not trust the things that we've been talking about because do you accept that you have an inner being yeah do you accept that your inner being has full awareness of your vortex mm -hmm. you just said that you believe that in your vortex is this that you want so when you put those things together I believe that it's in my experience and I believe that my inner being do you believe that your inner being is aware of it yeah. and do you think that your inner being knows what the path of least resistance meaning do you think that your inner being knows how to guide you around your hang-ups in order to get you to where you want to be yeah do you think Thanks. that you are concerned about what other people think about it definitely so it's not just your relationship with your own inner being that you're focused upon it's your relationship with all these other people who have opinions about it well that's your hang-up right there do you know there are not two people in your life or in anyone's life who are in total agreement about what you should be doing <laughs> and you know what we think about all of them they are irrelevant so you've just got to clean it up between you and you and leave all of them out of the equation but it's not easy to leave them out of the equation because you're talking about it all the time and so people have got all of these opinions that are based upon how many airlines have been canceled in their life Esther got all wadded up in something that had nothing to do with her moment in time not really wadded up but it was an entertaining ride as this woman recounted driving from Newark to Nashville in exactly the same situation <laughs> Esther thought yeah that's happened to me a time or two Esther didn't tell her stories but they were certainly activated so you have something that you know you want you believe that your inner being is aware of it you know that your inner being knows how to get you in terms of manifestation from where you are to where you want to be and so your impatience is about what is it taking too long here's what we really want you to hear and this is what your last answer really indicates if you know that when you ask it is given and it is and that source is all over it, and source is and that your work is to then just line up with what you want and follow the impulse and then you say but I'm not getting any impulses and that's what's confusing me I don't know what to do and we say if you don't know what to do then you're trying to do the to do too soon if you don't know what to do then just sit tight because your desire is not going away in fact your desire is growing momentum your inner being is not ceasing to look at it in fact your inner being looks at it more and more as time goes by and so the only thing that is required of you is that you stay out of the weeds and by that we mean don't try to push the noodle don't try to think the thoughts don't try to make a plan what you want to do is to allow the plan the plan of least resistance the plan about the path of least resistance the plan about knowing where all your resistant bugaboos are which is talking to other people talking to other people talking to other but the plan about that just wait till something is really 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 clear to you Esther as she was getting off the airplane did something really wise she went immediately to two people who knew what the scoop of the whole thing was and ask them with clarity and sincerity and got an answer back from them that was real and instead of letting that sit instead just for the drama of it she went down a whole lot of other rabbit holes because when you hit yourself over the head with a hammer it always feels good when you stop <laughs> so we know you all like the drama of it but it's not necessary you either believe in your ability to be or do or have whatever you want or you don't do you no I, I want to clarify one thing so when I do have an impulse which I, there are some things that have been happening that are really clear do you is it that I just line up with the feeling that that guides me toward and relax there not with the big idea is that sort of the place that, of that's comfort? a really good question and here's a really good answer what other choice do you have drive myself crazy can yeah. you be other than in the moment can you be other than where you are and can you do other than in this moment follow the impulse of where you are could Esther transport herself to San Francisco instantly I'm tired of messing around with this I'm there 
or are there physical elements of being in a physical body that you have to allow the forces and the laws of your worldly environment to come into play but if you hold your focus on the vision of what you want and you don't get hung up on how it's going to be this is a question that we're putting to you to all of you and we're going to do it with clarity and softness and slowness because we really want you to consider what your answer is to this question what's the rush that's an important question oh we have a few important questions what do you think is at the root of your need because it feels strong to involve yourself with so many specifics about this rather than standing back and trusting what do you think makes you want to dive in and get after it did you put the question in your mind and can you put an equivalent subject in what makes you feel the urgency or the necessity why do you have the drive to get after this I think for me it's because I'm applying my experience of my past which is that if I focus and I work really hard I'll get to where I want to go that's true but why what is it about that that is so intoxicatingly urgently important to you what's your win in that probably to prove I was right yeah you went right to it to be right to be worthy to be good at what I do to justify my existence we're speaking from human perspective I've been in competition with so many about so many different subjects and I want so much to be right that almost everybody has stepped so far away from your feeling of absolute worthiness and your knowledge of absolute trust in the universal forces so you've created all of these scenarios so you're battling yourself because no one else is keeping you from anything and mostly that battle is about me needing to be right me needing to be good me needing to be validated as being good we said a few weeks ago at a gathering that we'd like you to envision making your transition into non-physical and then when you meet up with someone that you can communicate with you say where's the list and they'll say what list are you looking for and you'll say the list of all the things I sacrificed so that I could be the good person that I needed to be to be here and they'll say oh there's no list like that what what <laughs> nobody kept track of all of the things that I didn't do that I wanted to do <laughs> nobody kept track of all the things I did nobody kept track no no one's keeping track of that there's no reward for everything that I sacrificed in order to be here in this good place this isn't the good place <laughs> this is the only place <laughs> when do I get my reward you got it in the moment of your experience in physical life you either allowed yourself to flow the fullness of who you are or you pinched it off for some bogus reason and so you felt it in the moment your openness or your closeness you're allowing or you're not allowing your love or your hate your trust in yourself or not your belief in your goodness or you're not your belief in others or not you see kind of getting this a little bit so when you stand in this place of knowing that if this time space reality has created within you a desire for something this time space reality will deliver the goods to you so when you stand in that knowing and then you couple it with your belief in your righteousness or worthiness to receive it without validating it in any way through action or behavior it was so fun for Esther to watch that lady that really smart really intuitive really attentive really deliberate woman and as Esther watched her and she thought you're so much like me I don't even want to talk to you <laughs> and then Esther thought and you are making unnecessary trouble for all of us for yourself you are belching into the atmosphere resistance that is not necessary <laughs> <laughs>